Hey everybody, it's Jameson again, back for a quick little channel update. I'd kind of go over where I've been the last year or so. I haven't done a whole lot. Uh, I kind of took a break from uh, the hobby for the most part. Did a few things here or there, but uh, kind of took a break from just a lot of things. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing glasses now, which I really don't need at the moment, but I need them to read more and more and my eyesight is slowly starting to uh, degrade so I need to go get a uh, eye test and get a prescription for some glasses because it's getting more and more difficult for me to read things and at work when things uh, print out I can't read them that, that well anymore so there's that uh, my biggest issue that I've had the last uh, year in the last year and a half I've been getting uh, discomfort in this shoulder when I go to move it it slowly started getting worse and worse and uh, and then back about May of this year it got to the point where I could hardly move it at all so I've been to the doctor several times and basically what it comes down to is I have something called frozen shoulder which is uh, when the muscles in that whole rotator cuff joint get inflamed to the point where it just locks the joint up and the joint won't move and uh, basically there's nothing they can do about it uh, they say that over time it will correct itself but it can take anywhere from nine months to two years and uh, there are three stages to it the first stage is where you experience pain and uh, a loss of movement second stage is uh, the pain goes away but you still have limited movement and then the third stage is uh, you start to get your range of motion back. Well, since May, the last five, six months, I've been in pain and with very limited movement with the shoulder. So I feel like I'm still in stage one. And it's like, damn, because don't tell me I've got a year or more to go before this fixes itself. So I can't move this shoulder at all very well anymore, and which means I move a little slower at work. And I do a lot of griping about everything these days. A lot of things around the house I have trouble doing. I, just putting a shirt on, I learned how to learn how to do that all over, starting with this arm instead of putting this one in first. Just a lot of things I've had to learn how to do over. And hopefully this fixes itself over the next year or year and a half because it is a, uh, it is a, a literal pain. Uh, I can't sleep in bed because I can't sleep on this side because it presses on that shoulder. I can't sleep on this side because then this arm flops around and it pulls on the shoulder. So I have to sleep on my back and prop the shoulder a certain way. And because I am a very loud snorer, I can't sleep in the bedroom anymore because it keeps the wife awake. So I've been sleeping on the couch for the last six months, which is getting quite old. I'm getting tired of sleeping downstairs. I'm getting tired of being in such constant pain with this thing. The slightest little movement can set off excruciating pain because the muscles are getting pinched between the bones in there because they're so inflamed. And, uh, yeah, it has not been fun. And that's pretty much prevented me from doing a lot of things. Uh, I can still paint and assemble, you know, miniatures and all that. But I've got to be careful the way I sit and the way I bend or lean over. And between that and needing glasses now uh, there isn't any way I can just pick up a miniature and paint it because it would it would look like crap uh, I've always needed a magnifying glass and now I need these and uh, so it's old not when say old age but age is creeping up on me and it's making itself known uh, I'm gonna be 50 in another three years well no in a little over two years, I'm going to be 50. And I'm starting to gradually feel it, you know, with all the aches and pains of the shoulder, the other aches and pains, you know, the eyesight slowly degrading. It, uh, it hasn't been fun. And work has not helped in that we uh, have been really busy at work. You know, I, uh, I drive a tank truck to deliver fuel. And, you know, summertime is a busier time because there's more traveling, more construction that requires fuel, uh, farming season, 
we do a lot of farms so it's always busier in the summertime so when May rolled around things got busier and I started putting in you know 11 12 hours a day and here it is almost uh, December I'm filming this on November the 28th I don't know when exactly I'll post it but uh, Farming season is long over, but man, we are still just slammed. It's been uh, five, six months of 11, 12 hour days every day. So, like I said, between that, being tired and exhausted from that, and not being a kid anymore, that really wears me out, and then dealing with the shoulder issues, uh, I just, I come home and I just haven't had a lot of energy for anything except just staring at the computer and vegging out or watching TV. So that's contributed to not getting a whole lot done hobby-wise. You know, I, I did those 100, gob, 100 night goblins early uh, sometime last year. And then at the beginning of this year, I started on uh, some Kador stuff, uh, some uh, jacks and some other models. And I got those primed and I got a base coated and I started working on them and I just kind of lost interest in it and the same I was working on that little scratch built grot tank I just kind of lost interest in that so I just kind of put it all in, in a drawer and uh, just didn't do anything you know I'd still buy the occasional kit here or there but uh, you know have, didn't do anything it wasn't until armies on parade rolled around that the local G GW store, the guy said, hey, you're going to bring something in. And I thought, you know what? I do have enough painted orcs and goblins I can bring something in. So I, I took that in and participated there. And that, that kind of got the fires burning again. And I got on working on these, uh, these Tyranids here. So, and these are going to be for next year's Army on Parade. So it might take me that long to get everything done that I want to get done. And, you know, the wife, uh, she's had her issues. Uh, around this time last year, her father passed away. And a week later, my wife was T-boned in a car accident. And uh, she wasn't hurt really bad, but it left her kind of sore for a while. And then not long after that, in December of 2015, her mother fell and broke her leg. So between that and everything, it's it's been one hell of a year around here. <laughs> So things are a little better this year, and uh, I'm trying to get back into the hobby a little bit, despite the aches and pains, and uh, get back into a few other things I want to do. I haven't even been reading a whole lot. I usually read quite a bit, but this year has just kind of been a blah year with, with my shoulder pain and everything. It's just been, uh, I haven't felt like doing anything, and I just kind of sat around in a vegetative state, it seems like. So this coming year, I want to get a little more active, and uh, despite the limitation of the shoulder, try to get a few more things done around the house and, and whatnot. So that's my little update. Nothing too big. Uh, going forward, I'll still be working on the Tyranids. i got a couple other ideas for some uh, kind of vlog ramble videos, but uh, I'll probably wait because this kind of video's been kind of rambly enough for now, and nobody likes too many of those. So... Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, everybody for sticking with me. Uh, I've had a few more subscribers over the last few months, even though I haven't done a whole lot. So thanks for subscribing. And uh, I hope you guys stick around to see how the Tyranids turn out and some other projects, maybe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, shoulder permitting.